thought we were going surfing, not for a hike of the island. I'm sorry we must go so far away, but Naku Naku and I must not be seen together by our villages. Morihai and I come here to spend time together, because they are bitter enemies. Maybe one day the feud between our two villages will be over, and Naku Naku and I will no longer have to hide our love. It's hard to imagine a feud in this Hawaiian paradise. What caused it to start? It was the curse of Lami Ninu, the god of the volcano. A curse? I don't like the sounds of that. Easy, Willard. Don't let your lively imagination run away with you. Let's go surfing. This talk of a curse has made me nervous, Auntie. We've stumbled on mysteries before, but a curse is different. Please be careful. Oh, don't be silly, Willard. What could possibly happen? How exciting! See, Willard? Nothing's happened. There's no such thing as curses. about the curse while I catch my breath. Whew. At one time, our villages were the best of friends. Nami Ninu protected us and even gave our ancestors a sacred stone. As long as we had the stone, we would live in peace and harmony. And everything was fine until the night of the terrible storm. <laughs> Villages blamed the other for not protecting the stone. The feud began, and our families have been quarreling ever since. But what's that got to do with the curse? According to legend, if our villages quarrel for more than ten years, Lami Ninu will show his wrath. How much time do we have left? Until tomorrow at noon. Look out! <laughs> was Clyde Putchard. He always does that, never thinking of anyone but himself and the condos he wants to build on our beach. That's just something else for our villages to fight about. My village says the beach belongs to us, but Naku Naku's village says it belongs to them. Ouch! This place really is cursed. Oh, Willard, there's no such thing as a curse. Look closely enough and you're sure to find a logical explanation. See? That's the stone I hit with my surfboard, and you hit it with your beak. <gasps> the sacred stone! <sighs> what a useful shell. I found one like that myself earlier. Oh, I can use it to call for taxis when I'm back home. Oh. <gasps> Great leader Wissiwasi, our villages were wrong to quarrel. The stone is returned. It is time for us to make peace. Yes, wise and noble Prokopesi. Let us put an end to this foolish feud and become friends again. Hmm. <laughs> About time, too. Nothing like leaving things to the last moment. You have to move that stone. That's where I'm going to build my condos. What condos? The land is not for sale. Maybe not the half that belongs to your village, but I've already got a deal for the other half. It's true. 
We need the money to build a new school. How could you do that without consulting our village? Why should I consult your village? You didn't consult us when you built a new pier. We wouldn't have had to build a new pier if you hadn't pulled down the old one. We wouldn't have pulled down the old pier if you'd have helped us repair it. Careful now. You're making the volcano angry again. Look, there are ancient Hawaiian symbols on the stone. Luckily, I saw an article on that very subject just the other day. Hmm. It says that the land shall be as one as long as the sacred stone is here to protect the two villages. In that case, I'm sorry, but the deal's off. You can't do that. I'll sue. Then you will have to sue both our villages. It's different now that the stone is back. We can't go against Lammy Ninu. You'll regret this. Hey, come on. Forget about Clyde Potchard. You've got your sacred stone back. The curse is over. It's time for a luau. Mm. This roasted pineapple is extremely tasty. Good evening. I'm Horace Shoveler, the world-famous archaeologist. How do you do, Mr. Shoveler? I'm Miss Mallard, and this is my nephew, Willard Widgeon. I don't believe it. The sacred stone was found. Why, it's a crime to leave such a rare artifact to the mercy of the elements. This should be in a museum or a private collection. Like yours, perhaps? <laughs> and Mr. Scope is just jealous because I have the largest private collection of Lamy Ninu artifacts in the world. Joe Scope, ex-sailor, at your service, ma'am. I can see you're not from around here. May I interest you in a postcard? It's my own design. Fifty cents. Or how about this lovely shell necklace? It's cheap. Uh, no, thank you, Mr. Scope. Uh, too bad. Business is slow. I'm a beachcomber. I look for things to sell to tourists. A sacred stone. Wish I'd found it. Mm -hmm. We must make peace with Lammy Ninu before the luau can start. Lammy Ninu says, let the luau begin. No, Willard. Swing your hips like this. The sacred stone is gone. Oh. How did this happen? Your ducks were supposed to be protecting it. This is all your fault, just like it was last time. I knew this peace couldn't last. The feuding is back, and with it, the curse. Maybe Lammy Nina will consider it a new feud and give you another ten years to sort it out. Again? Maybe not. Miss Mallard, you must help us find the stone. Or Naku Naku and I will never be together. Very well. I shall try to put an end to this mystery. I will need your help, Willard. We'll start by dusting the pedestal for wing prints. <laughs> no wing prints here. We'd better look for some footprints. I don't see any footprints either. The thief must have brushed them away. Ouch! <laughs> well done, Willard. You found a clue. Hmm. It's a keychain made from a shark's tooth. 
Do either of you recognize this? Mm -mm. In that case, I suggest that we all retire for the night. I'll give the case some thought and resume my investigation in the morning. Maybe we should have taken the road back to the hotel, Auntie. What with a curse in the area and all. This way is much faster, and the jungle is so peaceful at night. <gasps> I can't stop thinking about who would want to steal the sacred stone. I can't stop thinking about the curse. <gasps> what was that? A falling coconut? That's no coconut. Someone's after us. Run! Oh. <laughs> Willard, where are you? Ow. Right behind you, Andy. Hurry! Inside! First a curse, then a stolen stone, and now somebody's chasing us. How on earth will I ever sleep tonight? Absolutely delicious. Morning, Auntie. I trust you slept well after our adventure last night? Actually, Willard, I had a terrible nightmare. How could I forget? Today is the deadline to stop the feuding or else... Mm -hmm. It wasn't the curse, Willard. I think it was my mind trying to tell me the keychain belonged to one of our four suspects. And that's who was chasing us in the jungle last night. Yes, that makes sense. But who are the four suspects? All will be revealed in due time, Willard. In due time. Right now, I'm going to live my dream. I'll disguise myself as a delivery duck, then try to deliver the keychain back to its rightful owner, the thief who stole the sacred stone. Now, while I do that, you go back to the jungle and see if you can find any clues about who was following us. The jungle? Do you think that's a good idea, Auntie, uh, considering what day it is? Isn't it better to be on the safe side? Like, shouldn't we leave the island? <laughs> what have I told you about curses, Willard? There's no such thing. Look closely enough and you're sure to find a logical explanation. So, go and look. Right. Look for logical explanations. Delivery for Clyde Potchard from Norman's Department Store. I didn't order anything. Oh, dear. Uh, there must be a mix-up. Maybe you'd better check to be sure. Why would I order this silly keychain? Take it back. I've never seen it before. Oh, excuse me. Is that a painting of Lamy Ninu? Yes, it is. Now that's something worth ordering. Too bad. I thought the keychain might be for his bulldozer. Now that's a little disconcerting. Oh, I'm sorry. I've broken your medallion. <gasps> Lamy Ninu. Um, yes. Thank you. Hmm. I wonder what those two are up to. Not talking about Lamy Ninu, I'll bet. Oh, <laughs> 
Who's there? I'll warn you, I have a black belt in karate. Calm down, Willard Witchin. Remember what Auntie says at times like this? She says, remember who you are. Say to yourself, there's no such thing as a curse. There's no such thing as a curse. There's no such thing as a curse. Mm -hmm. Help! Delivery from Manny Kai's <laughs> antique shop. For me? Why, how wonderful. I wonder what it is. What is this ugly thing? A keychain? Really? It's not for me. Maybe the store thought the carving of Lamy Minu would interest you. I only collect the real thing. Take it away. Can't you see I'm busy? I've got to get out of here. Hmm, I'm not sure I like the looks of that. It's a good thing I don't believe in this curse business, or I might be feeling a little nervous about now. Oh! <gasps> Lammy Ninu? Wissy Wassy. Phew. Hmm. Wissy Wassy's gone to make another offering, I'll bet. Good thing, too. A shell? What's a shell doing here? We're miles from the ocean. Another shell? Hmm. What was it, Auntie said? Look hard enough and you will find a logical explanation. Well, the only logical explanation I can find means I need backup. Hello? Who's there? I'm sorry. Were you going somewhere? None of your business. Well, um, I have a package for you from Sadie's Curio Shop. Never heard of it. Let me see it. <gasps> Where did you get this? Who sent you? I'll tell you that after you tell me why you're leaving and what you have in that duffel bag. That's no concern of yours. Now get out of my way. So many suspicious things happening. Clyde Potchard and Progo Pessy having a secret meeting. Wissy Wussy on a secret quest to the volcano. Horace Shoveler lining up sculptures of Lamy Minu. And now Joe leaving in the midst of all this trouble. It's time for a roundup of suspects. Great Davy Jones's locker. Miss Mallard herself. I should have known it was you. Hey, cut it out, will ya? I was getting short of breath. I have gathered you all here because I can now reveal who stole the sacred stone. And hopefully the one who stole it will tell us where he hid it. Well, tell us. Hey, come on, Miss Mallard. Where's oh, Mallard? Please, come on, Miss Mallard. Please, tell us. Please, tell us. Who's yeah. going to tell us, Auntie? Why, Lamy Minu, of course. All the suspects had good reason to steal the stone. But only one of the suspects had a Lamy Ninu object that matched the carving of Lamy Ninu on the shark tooth. None of the paintings or artifacts had fangs, but Joe's postcard and the shark tooth carving did. I suspected that he carved the face on the tooth like sailors do, and that he had worked from his own drawing. <gasps> <gasps> well done, Auntie. And these shells I found in the jungle confirm Joe's guilt. They're from the necklace he tried to sell us at the luau. This proves it was Joe who was following us last night in the jungle. But where is the sacred stone, Miss Mallard? Perhaps we should ask Joe. Not so fast. <sighs> Without the stone, you have no proof. <gasps> Mammy, me knew the curse. It's almost noon. Oh, 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 oh. 
out of my way. I'm going to find that stone if I have to search every square inch of this island. Well done, Willard. You found the stone. The feud can now end again. And forever. Lemmy <laughs> Ninus at peace. The curse is over. We're safe. That's for speeding. That's for careless driving. That's for driving on the beach. And that's for putting ducks' lives in danger. <laughs> it is with great honor that our villagers have come together to celebrate the wedding between Naku Naku and Mori Hai. Well, we certainly did some good work this time around. Right, Auntie? Auntie? Oh, it's all right, Willard. I'm fine. Weddings always make me cry. <laughs> I guess the stone turning up and the active volcano were just coincidences, Auntie. There was never any curse. Everything had a logical explanation. Exactly, Willard. <laughs> and in this case, the logical explanation is that I can't surf.